In today's video, what I thought I'd do is talk about like what separates the big time producers, the guys that sell a lot of beats, the guys that are getting placements. I'm going to show you like why their melodies stand out, why their drums stand out, mainly why their melodies stand out in this tutorial. Hello. You shall never take the British out of me. Bit of tea, couple of digestives. Can't go wrong. I've started to get like more DMs from you guys that have come through the channel. You guys ask a lot, like, can you listen to my beats? Can you give me some feedback on my beats? The problem is, like, I can listen to your beats. I can give you all the feedback in the world, but like, like me giving you that feedback isn't gonna, isn't like gonna allow you to significantly improve like that like that's just not how it works like you have to put in the time to do that so in today's video what I thought I'd do is talk about like what separates the big time producers the guys that sell a lot of beats the guys that are getting placements I'm going to show you like why their melodies stand out why their drums stand out meaning why their melodies stand out in this tutorial I'm actually going to give you like some tangible advice and like as to where you can just go and start doing this today and improve like the structure of your beats improve like the whole sound of your beats so so one thing i like i wanted to touch on is before you even before we even go into this if you're new to beat making the fact that you're new is not going to be an advantage for you at the moment you have to put the time in the reason why these guys have really nice melodies and like have a really nice distinct sound it's because they've been doing it for five ten years and then they started getting success and then it kind of snowballed from there which is why you you see them all over the place now but like you never saw those like 10 years prior to that where they weren't where they hadn't blown up on instagram and they hadn't got like a big placement so just keep that in mind before you know we dive into this but this whole workflow like completely changed the quality of my beats within a week of making my melodies this way it literally just improved them like straight away so so yeah I'm gonna share that with you guys today. Holy snap. First time it's rained in like literally about two months. Oh. All right, good. We are in FL Studio, good people. It's been a while since I've done a tutorial like this. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and make like a melody. I wanna go ahead and make the full melody, you know, add all the layers in and I'm gonna explain like everything that I do at the end um, and like why I did them and like the whole thought process of doing it this way. I'll speed this up, but whilst I'm doing it, just, just pay attention to like, like what I'm doing and like how many different things I'm doing. And then I'll like let you guys know like how you can go about doing this yourself and, and doing it in a logical way that's not, you know, the way you don't get lost, you know, and you don't like, end up doing too much for the beat itself, okay? So, yeah, I'm just gonna crack on. sit in the background pad or something all right cool now what I'm gonna do is just add some effects to these sounds just to give them more like give them more of a vibe so I'm just gonna go and add some reverb to that heart look at the low end something to fill in the top end I think or polysynth that's nice now I just need something for the low end Reverb. 
All right, cool. We're there with the we're there with the loop. I'm basically just going to talk you through the reasons why I did these things and like why and why they kind of work, I guess. And then I'll go into what I'm going to do next, which is like super, super useful if you want to have like those like unique beats that change quite a lot, but that still kind of fit within the context of like that beat. First thing that I did was like have like the, the, the main sort of melody. This is probably going to run like throughout the whole beat. So this like harp sound. Okay, it's not like major complicated, it's just like, you know, fills out most of the frequency ranges that want to have it like, you know, full. And, and what you'll notice is like, it's quite simple, you know, I'm zoomed out so it looks quite complicated, but literally you've just got a few keys here and there, like, there's no like unique pattern to them, they're just sort of, they're just sort of normal. Next thing was like a guitar. Just follows the root note and then just like something along the top just to you know give it some variation but like the key thing to keep in mind with all this right is is that whilst i'm doing all of this every sound that i've added you can see i've added like one two three four five six i've added seven different sounds of this melody but the key thing is like if you look at all of the midis there's not a lot going on in every sound so like literally you know two notes a little top end bit there same with the um same with this literally one little element same with that one little element that's that's more of like a background noise so it's it looks like there's quite a lot going on there but if you notice like the volume of it which is this one is way down low that that's just that's just going to be like coming in and out of the beat for throughout it but yeah you know just take a look at everything else like super super simple and like it's not difficult to put all of this together you just need to you just need to sort of pick the right sounds uh, and then after that like you're, you're done okay now here comes a bit where like this can make this can cut out a, a whole ton of time when it comes to laying out the beat so what i'm going to do is lay out three or four 16 bars of like of the melody no beat yet i'm not going to put any drums in yet i'm just going to split this melody by channel so i'm just going to have the whole thing play for the first 16 bar that's just going to be like you know the part of the beat where everything's all in and i'm just going to duplicate it across yeah why not i'll go for four 16 bars so so i'm just going to play around with these three sections and then like chop things out you know make it sort of super simple in certain places and then bring other stuff back in just so it's got a nice flow okay okay cool right so i've got rid of that last 16 bar i just feel like this this three you know 16 bar loop goes well nicely together like once it loops back to the start it sounds it sounds nice so okay so now what i'm going to do is just bounce all of that out so like that's going to be the direction of the melody it's going to be on loop i might add some different elements into it but i'll, I'll show you guys that in a second come down to the tools consolidate and then i'm just going to turn this into like a full loop all right cool i'm sorry one more thing that i wanted to point out before i laid all this out into like a you know into like the the structure of the beat as you saw like as i was adding sounds i was adding effects to them straight away just so i knew like what each sound is going to sound like straight away but yeah now i've got this bounced out what i'm going to do is drop it into the uh, mixer, but this is where like I'm just gonna add effects to the, the to that whole loop So what I like to do is you know, give it that old-school kind of textured kind of feel so I add the RC 20 a little bit of compression a little bit of saturation and then we should be there Okay, so like you know in, in terms of like the effects you should add like there's no like guidance to it but if you want that kind of like 2020 sound where you know, it's got like a real like nice realistic kind of texture to it. Then the plugins that I'd recommend would be the RC20, um, some kind of compressor, and then like just some saturation to, you know, just to brighten up a little bit. Once we've got that done, then we're pretty much good to go. So you want to get rid of all of the sounds that you just put in to make the, the melody and keep that loop in. And then literally, and then I'm just going to start drawing in drums. That's it. Now you've got that really like unique, like different melody you can do like, it just makes the whole beat sound so much better. In fact, I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna finish this into like a full beat so you guys can hear it. It's it's good because it's efficient and it takes up way less CPU than adding tons of plugins. It makes the the beat sound so much more unique because you've got so many different things going on, but like it all sounds kind of like it sits in the right place. And what you can do as well, what I like to do is duplicate that loop. So I'm just gonna pull one here, make it unique, and then you can just play with the pitch, like literally just knock it up a full octave. Just give it even more variation, but again, it, it all sounds like it belongs because it's all the same stuff. You're just adding little different things to it. You know, you can add half time, you can do whatever you want. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to make this into a quick beat, finish it off. Okay, that's going to be good for now. I think that's a good like basis for the, the beat. So I'll let it run through a couple of like 16 bars and just listen to like the variation, how complicated it sounds. But it, like you've seen from how I made the melody that all these things are just really simple, just lots of different elements and they all come together like really nicely. So.
So like that is honestly that's pretty much it. As long as you can get those melodies sounding like super unique. Jesus Christ! I didn't realize the storm outside. Uh, and again, like as you can see, it doesn't take much. Like you just need to stack a lot of sounds. Try not to overcomplicate each melody. Just one little thing that sounds nice. Move on to the next thing, and just keep adding those really nice, subtle, different sounds in. Subconsciously, when you listen to it as like a beat listener or an artist, like you, you pick up on those things. It makes the beat kind of like just stand out and just you know sound way more unique to like to to their taste. So then it's just a matter of structuring it. You know, putting it into like a three separate 16 bars, you know, making them a little bit different from each other. Bounce it out as a wave and then just add some drums. Like I, I literally just added, how many drums did I add there? Four drums and an 808 and then like, that's a banger right there. That's fine. I'm happy with that. I'm going to, I could mix that down right now and upload it and be happy with it. That's, that's it. That's literally it. Peace.